So this video is just to show you a bit more really of Arcade Script in action, uh, dynamically in a, in a, in a form. Um, well, let me just show you it working. So if I, uh, so here I've got my feature there, I've used that before, I've got Historic England Battlefields, I've got some sample pubs, as you can see it's definitely just around Leicester. Um, it's, it's only a um, limited amount, so I zoom in I get names, let's, let's, do, let's do it like that so we can kind of see both. So if I go to edit, so this will work in an application, I'm just showing it in the web map. Um, um, so new feature, now if I click here it says nearest pub, it's that, whatever that is, um, and it's 5.86 kilometres away. So if I move it, nearest pub, the railway in, 1.72 kilometres away. So the, there it is, it comes up there. So it's kind of dynamically doing it. Now I can also drag it into this polygon nearest battlefield, Battle of Bosworth, Bosworth Field, 1485, plus it's still trapped the uh, nearest pub. So let's, let's drag it down to this one. Let's um, use hotel, that must be it there. Oh no, no. Uh, is there another one? No, it's that one there. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yes, I suppose that looks right. Uh, drag it into there, and it's the Battle of Naseby, the historic battlefield. Okay, so it's it's updating those. I can create that record, and and I've got all that information. If I just um, let's just get out of edit. If I just click on here, in a, um, oh, oh, actually, I'm only showing a few. Um, fields there. Let's just add the others. So nearest pub, nearest battlefield. There we go. So there we go. The, the, as you can see the data is recorded there yeah where, where I put it. So it's, it's a good way of just updating data as you go along to so save people having to type stuff in all the time and, and or even selecting stuff. You don't even select. Once you've created the record you've got your data. So how, how is this done? So if you look at um, the forms wizard I'll put this code or the script, sorry, in um, the description. So the battlefield stuff. There's calculated expression, nearest battle, edit arcade, and here we go. So it's quite straightforward, really. Um, so I declare this intersect layer, um, which as expected is intersect feature set by name, um, and from the map it's got the sort of text name so rather than ID the internal ID I'm just reading the name it's it's easier to debug later um, and I'm intersecting this with the feature with the current feature that's what the you know the, the dollar feature is and then I, I look I iterate through um, F I just the features in inset layer go through each one of these and um, and just see where the intersection happens and uh, um, the name is pulled back and returned. It's not empty, basically. So that's quite straightforward. Nearest pub, slightly a bit, a bit more, more to it. So, um, so what I'm doing here is I'm kind of defining a search distance in kilometres. I do a, I create this sort of list of pubs, pub features, uh, from an intersect again from pubs layer, um, and creating a buffer around feature that dollar feature is the current um, buffer uh, current feature you know so that's where I've got my point geometry um, and I'm d using this search disk of 500 it's in kilometers like I said I just declare a couple of variables there I actually set the minimum to be to be 500 to to work from um, again play with that as you wish and then I iterate through a loop through the pubs list really and just working out um, rounded to um, to, 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 to two there uh, kilometers um, uh, still still working in kilometers there rounded down to, to two um, what is I, I then you know working out what's, what's the the minimum um, the one that falls within the minimum distance and um, effectively you end up with getting the what the minimum distance 
is. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm just working out is that pub distance less than minimum distance and it just go through each one is that less is that less is that less and when it is less uh, less then um, I'm updating pub name with the nearest pub and what the actual distance is and then I return this concatenation here nearest pub minimum distance away so when you run it in there it'll come up with some answer there you go and there you have it so um, cool. so yeah it's quite powerful really um, and there's lots of stuff you can do it can really save on data entry um, and um, data quality as well of course um, and I hope you find that useful thanks